First at five, six children, the oldest just eight years old, taken from a filthy home. Police describing the conditions as disgusting and deplorable. Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell on Detroit's west side. So, Kim, what did police find inside that house? They found trash, dirty diapers, and animal waste all over the place inside this house behind me where you see the toys on the porch. Police told the mom who lives there, you cannot have your kids in these conditions. Detroit police arrived after they got a call from a neighbor that a mom had abandoned her six kids, all under eight years old, inside this house. Police say, turns out, that wasn't true. There was a babysitter. The mom then had tough words for the neighbor who called police. Girl, you try to find a way to hate. But hold up. Police say even if the neighbor was wrong, what was happening inside this house, not okay. The conditions inside, repugnant. I am going to recommend, and I'm sure Child Protective Services agree with you, that no one can go back in that house. I don't care if you're a kid or adult. It's not a mess. It's deplorable. Police say because the kids appear healthy, if mom can find them a safe, clean place to live, it's likely they will go home. For that, this mom is thanking police. Thank God for that. Shout out to uh, Detroit Police Department for looking out for me, for not taking them. Now, it's not over just yet. CPS is going to investigate, make sure that these kids end up living in a safe place. As of right this moment, those kids are at Detroit Police Headquarters, where police are talking to that mom. She's learning a tough lesson. Reporting live in Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Well, Kim, I was out there earlier today. There was a lot of activity at that time. Has CPS shown up yet? Have they been to the house? After you left, Dave, there were two police cars that pulled up, both Detroit police. Investigators went inside, collected some evidence, and they have since left. As for CPS, I haven't seen anyone out here at this time. I'm sure they'll be on the way. Kim, thank you very much. Kim Russell reporting live from Detroit's west side.